Hello YouTube, this is Lovejoy117 here, and uh, I'm bringing another Warframe video. So today I'm going to be showing how to farm with Trinity, but basically play as a tank, an unstoppable, invincible tank. Uh, so, what you're going to really want for your Trinity is any mod uh, that can expand uh, your power efficiency, make things last longer, and you might want to have a lot of power. You want to upgrade your Link, because uh, you're going to be using Link a lot, and upgrade your Energy Vampire, because these two are essential to do this tactic that I've been, I just started using, I think, like, yesterday, maybe. But, uh, it's it's really good. It, it definitely takes out bosses pretty fast. And, like, as Trinity, you can play support, and I, I can show another way in another video how to do the support route. And this is basically a, a support route, too, but this is being up in the face of the enemy. So I think for this boss we're gonna go kill uh what's her name? Kayla? Yeah, we're gonna kill Kayla. And I I'd go in with randoms to start beating by myself. Because with this tactic you're you're not gonna lose too much health. I mean if you do this correctly. But um the game changes a lot so it just it's all about like strategies you take to get to the boss and things. The one thing you want to do for all bosses is always kill them, like kill everything up to them, especially if it's infested, but uh, once you kill them just rush the exit and that's like the best farming technique because it's like get in get out, you, you got what you came for, now just get out and restart it and get your blueprints. Now my frame rate might drop a little bit, I can't really help it too much. I could probably take down the, uh, the video quality. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna do that because this is, this is pretty bad. Uh, give me a second, sorry about this. Alright, sorry if, uh, the game looks a little crappier now, but I want to run at the highest frame rate so I don't mess up that much when I'm trying to kill this boss. But so yeah, uh, I'm playing with the randoms, so I'm not sure the strategies they're going to take. But whenever you play as Trinity and you do boss battles, remember to use Energy Vampire a lot because you can allow like people with Banshees and Nicks to pull off their Ubers. And I hate that word, I'm just going to call it Ultras. Uh, they can pull off their Ultras like a ton of times every, every, basically like once every 10 seconds. Uh, it's like, just you charge them up. You're the source of energy, and you should embrace that as a support class. So yeah, let's get up to this chick. She was one of the most annoying bosses for me at first. Uh, her explosive weaponry just, just pissed me off. I couldn't stand this boss. But, uh, yeah, but as you rank up, you you learn strategies and new ways to get rid of these bosses. I just got somebody who's this x -Cav. Yep. And I, I don't really need money anymore where I'm at. Uh, but, I don't know, it's just the looter inside of me from like Borderlands is always there. So, uh, yep. We're basically in the boss arena right now. And this is the strategy. You're gonna get up close and activate Link. And then while you activate Link, you're gonna throw on Energy Vampire and just keep wailing on them. And keep on tapping three and two on your keyboard. The three first, then two. And now you're just supplying ener unlimited energy and you're not taking any hits. So you just wanna keep on tapping three so that you activate Link whenever it goes away. And keep on tapping two so that you throw on energy vampire and you keep on getting your energy back and this is basically the strategy you're not getting touched because of Link, Link is getting all the end of the damage back to the boss and energy vampire is supplying you with energy to keep on using Link so it's like an endless cycle of uh, just destruction for the boss they can't hurt and you're taking the fire off of all the friends so in a way, you're still playing support, but you're up close and personal now. So, it, this is a really different strategy. I mean, I haven't ever seen anyone use this. So, uh, 
feel free to show your friends. Uh, it, it'd be great if more people played Trinity, because I hardly ever see any Trinity. And when I do, they're not that good. Like, I don't know, it's like they never use any support things. They never check the energy of friendlies. It's it's weird. Like, playing as Trinity, you should know what you're doing. And uh, when I play, I always, I'm always i constantly pushing escape to make sure my friends have enough health. And uh, you can't really do that in the middle of a boss battle. I mean, I guess you can if you have a uh, link going because you can't really get touched. But since I'm taking all the fire off of the enemies, I don't really need to pay attention to their vitals because they're not really getting hit. And there you go. And let's see if we got any blueprints. I mean, I have all the blueprints I need from her, but I got an organ, so I've been running out of those, so that's fine. So now, at this point, I just tell everyone to just to rush the exit. Because we don't really need to stay here anymore. And there, that's the strategy right there. These guys too, I like activating Link on them because that move right there is really annoying. And it's, it drains their shields pretty fast. Just remember, as Trinity, you can have unlimited energy basically, so don't be afraid to use it. Like for my other classes, I, I feel like I save up the energy for nothing because I hardly ever use their uh, powers. But Trinity, just uh, use your powers as much as possible. I mean, you're helping out your friends every time you use them too, so don't be afraid to. Oh, where am I going? And yeah, so just rush the exits. Uh, rem I don't like using the uh, the mouse when the middle mouse button to activate my powers during the boss battle because it's it really hard to be accurate with it. So just tapping two and ta tapping three is uh, a perfect way to send out your uh, ability when you need it. And you can do that to any boss. I mean, with Trinity, using Energy Vampire, uh, it works the best against infested bosses since they don't have shields, and enemies without shields, once you shoot them, Energy Vampire gets activated, but if they do have shields, you have to break through the shields to hit their health first, so that's one thing to keep in mind uh, when you're running Trinity on these bosses. And another thing about Energy Vampire is that there's a max amount of energy you can get per use of it, so... If you've seen, sometimes uh, during that battle, I'd have like half a clip left, and I'll just stand still for a little bit waiting for Energy Vampire to be uh, useful again, so that uh, just keep on getting your energy back. And that's something really good to keep in mind in case you're like using uh, Blessing, because... Oh, that okay, guy's injured, so let me heal him up. Because it... Uh, oh, I lost my train of thought now. Oh uh, yeah, if you're using uh, Blessing, that takes a big chunk of your energy down, so make sure you utilize Energy Vampire correctly before you go spamming that. Oh, so nice guy in order. Uh, yeah, so... And, uh, so for the comments, if you would leave some comments, let me know, uh, what Warframe is your favorite, and how you take down bosses. I mean, right now, I'm uh, currently building Nyx and Saren. Can't wait for Nyx to be built. And I just got a Banshee. Uh, uh, let me get out of here. I can survive this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just got Banshee, so I'm happy with that. And the best thing about this game that I just love is that everything's basically free. The only thing I paid for was slots to get more Warframes. And now I think I have six. So... It's, it's so much fun. This is possibly one of the best free-to-play uh, methods that I've seen. Because everything else has like exclusive items. I mean, this does too, like the Primes. Uh, Alright, Excalibur Prime. But that's for Founders, and that makes sense. But uh, like the, the Glaive, there's been two or three blueprint uh, alerts for it. So I got one of them. So uh, I'm happy about that. And it's it's a great way to like show that you can have a game free to play and still like make money off of it because I know a lot of people are too impatient to wait three days for Warframe along with uh, farming bosses and stuff so they just go straight for it 
And I'm unlike that. I mean, I have a lot of patience, especially for this game. So it's it's so much. It's a lot of fun. I mean, it's getting a little repetitive, but just knowing that update eight is on the horizon right now, I can't wait for it. So it's gonna be it's a lot of fun. If you haven't played it yet, it's Warframe, free to play. It's on Steam, and it's got a great community. Tons of mods, lots of replayability, replayability, I believe. So check it out. And to so all of you who do play this, feel free to add me. Uh, my end game name is Lovejoy117. And yeah, uh, that'll be fun. Thanks for watching, and I will have more Warframe videos up soon.